Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Artem Vasilin, and I'm, I'm, I'm working for Red Hat on Eclipse Chair uh, project. Uh, uh, also, my team is working on Eclipse uh, Tia project. It's uh, actually used by Eclipse Chair as an as a editor. Uh, so, uh, we are going to talk about uh, integration between Eclipse Chair and uh, OpenShift, how it uh, allows you easily get started with uh, web development, with cloud-based web development um, in order to get your application deployed to OpenShift cluster. Uh, first of all, I want to just count the steps that we usually need to do uh, when, we, when we want to start uh, some web development and uh, deploy our app to, to OpenShift cluster. Of course, we need some ID. Uh, whatever we like, like Eclipse, VS Code. Uh, we need some general development tools like build systems, uh, version, wor wor version control systems. Uh, we have to uh, containerize our application with, with some tools like Docker or Podman. We have to write Docker files for our front-end application, back-end application, prepare the images. We have to, uh, we, we, we need uh, several uh, CLI tools to communicate with the remote cluster, uh, like KubeCuttle, ODO, OC. Uh, we have to describe our application in terms of uh, cluster objects. Uh, we have to write several YAML descriptors, for our services, pods, and so on. Of course, we can add uh, many more steps here, but let's, let's, let's talk about what Eclipse Check can propose here. Uh, just a couple of words for those who maybe haven't heard about Eclipse Check. It's a cloud native IDE, uh, which means that it uh, can not only be deployed to OpenShift cluster, but also you are able to um, you are able to deploy your application uh, that you are working on from your development environment to, to the cluster uh, using the Kubernetes and OpenShift toolings that Eclipse Chat provides. Uh, I, will talk, I, I, I will show you in my demo in details what OpenShift Chat toolings represents. Uh, now just mention that OpenShift Chat toolings is actually a chip plugin uh, it includes uh, VS Code OpenShift connector extension with all the dependent uh, CLI tools like OC, ODO. And all those stuff are running in, 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 in the sidecar container uh, within my chair workspace. So uh, in this example, I have OpenShift chair toolings uh, connected to my chair development environment and it brings the actually the functionality that VS Code plugin brings. Uh, it's possible because internally we are using uh, Eclipse TIA project, which has the plugin system, which is, uh, I, I guess, almost fully compatible with VS Code extension system. Uh, one, one important uh, concept, important feature that I want to mention, it's a chat dev file. I will show you more in my demo. And um, the file is actually uh, a description, YAML description of, it looks like, like this here, uh, which allows you to describe your entire development environment in one YAML file. It can be easily um, shared, reproduced by, by your colleague, by any uh, member of your team. So you have once described your environment and get this YAML, uh, give, give this YAML to, to your colleague and he or she can uh, uh, reproduce, uh, run exactly the same environment with the same runtime containers for your applications. In this example, I have, for example, a, pro, a couple of projects declared for front-end, for front-end, back-end. Uh, I can also, um, Add, uh, describe several components. Uh, usually it's uh, chat plugins, but here I can add some runtime containers for my application. 
like with uh, Node.js for my front end, with Maven and Java for my back end. Uh, also in this div file it's possible to add some several commands which I can uh, run from my uh, IDE uh, just in one click and it can be, uh, it, it, it will be running in the, in the container where it's supposed to be running. Um, yeah, on this example it's how the OpenShift chair plugin is added is declared in chair uh, dev file and when, I, when, when my workspace is uh, started uh, it will bring the functionality of the plugin to my ID. Yeah, demo. Let's look how it uh, how it's looking. Yeah, here is my uh, Eclipse chair instance running uh, it's running uh, locally on code-ready containers. It's a local OpenShift cluster, single node cluster. And for this workspace, I have the dev file with uh, my front-end sources, back-end sources. Uh, here I have, I have the Node.js container declared to work with my front end to build it, to run it. Container uh, for back end, OpenShift plugin, so everything that they need. And also uh, several commands, for example, for running my front end. I have command declared with all the parameters. Yeah. So here is my workspace is running. Um, let's assume I, I, uh, I, I need to work on some uh, feature. Um, so here is my workspace panel where I have my uh, containers for backend, frontend. All the commands from my dev file are represented here. And in order to build my frontend project, I'm running, uh, okay, better? Um, so there is a command for running my, uh, for, for, sorry, for, uh, for building my front-end application. Actually, it does npm install with one click. Yeah, it's ready. And uh, my backend, let's do Maven package. It's ready. So uh, now we can run my backend. It's a Spring Boot application. Backend is ready. And run the front end. So uh, my backend and front end are running in a separate containers. For backend, it's one container, for front end, a separate sidecar. Here, Eclipse Chair has detected then that in one of my containers within the workspace, uh, some application is, is, is running. It's available on port uh, 3000. Let's, we can open it, and it will be opened inside the, uh, in, in the embedded, uh, embedded uh, web, web, web browser. It's a simple web browser just for previewing your applications. Um, now let's assume I, I need to make some changes. For example, let's change that wild east to wild west. I find it in my sources. Yeah. And now I can just refresh in that embedded browser the page and changes will be here since the, there is uh, npm watch command is running. So I can quickly iterating on my front end. Um, now let's assume I, I have to deploy my application to OpenShift cluster, like staging or production cluster. 
uh, here we have the functionality that is uh, that uh, VS Code extension brings, is, which, which is packaged inside the chat plugin. First of all, I need to connect to my cluster. Here I have command. It's also from the file. Let's log in. Um, password. Yeah, I'm logged in. And uh, here on this panel, all the OpenShift projects that in my <coughs> cluster. Um, now, uh, in order to deploy my application, I I have to create I, I have to create a separate project in my cluster with new project command. Uh, let's name it chair one. It's here, and I have I and now uh, we should create a separate component for sep for separate part of my application. So one component for backend, new component. Uh, it's a, here we should uh, type the name of OpenShift application, uh, like Wild West. Uh, since my backend is based uh, on jar file, uh, here we should pick binary file. Then uh, we should specify the context folder, so wh where our binary is located. It's in backend, target directory. Here's our jar file, select it. And now, uh, component name, backend. Here we can uh, choose the uh, type of runtime for our backend application. Uh, since it's Java application, let's pick Java, the latest version. Yeah, and our backend component successfully created. Here it is. Uh, it's just a descriptor of our components, so we have to push the changes to the cluster. Uh, meantime, we can we can open OpenShift cons web web console, select our application, and here we can see that our backend is running. We can see the, all the information, uh, manage it. While it's starting, we can create a component for our front-end application. New component. Uh, since it doesn't have binary, it's not JS application, we have to, uh, to specify just workspace directory. Context folder. Uh, it's in projects, front end. Component name, front end. Uh, it will be not JS runtime, the latest version. And do the same stuff, uh, push the changes to the cluster. So on OpenShift console, we can see that our backend is already running and front end is is going to be run. Uh, okay, let's wait a bit. Think in files. By the way, ah, oh, yeah, it's ready. It's, it's running. Uh, now we have to create the link, uh, the link for our front-end component, uh, which uh, we can use in order to to get the front-end link. Push the changes. Yeah, and let's try to open the link. It points to our OpenShift cluster. But since our uh, front end doesn't know uh, where our back end is located, we have to link the front end with back end uh, with a special command. 
link component, it means that uh, in front-end sidecar container, uh, an environment variable will be injected, which points to the backend component. Link component, link to, to backend, to port 8080. Let's refresh the page. Yeah, it, it's, it's because the front end is restarting, because it, 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 it has to be reconfigured. <coughs> okay, looks like it's ready. Refresh the page. Yeah, and we have, we, we, we see that our front end connected to back end. Uh, yeah. Also, we in, in, from Eclipse Share environment, we can sh we can watch the logs of our components, uh, like show logs, front end. Yep. So in in this demo, uh, you've just seen how how the how you can uh, use Eclipse chair uh, to, to deploy, on, on, on the simple example, to deploy your application to OpenShift cluster. Okay, uh, so Eclipse chair, can, with Eclipse chair you can simplify your uh, development of your web application uh, with help of such tools as dev file which uh, you can use to describe your environment once and share it with help of uh, chair plugins uh, which bring the which can bring the VS Code functionality to Eclipse chair and with help of tight integration of uh, Eclipse chair and OpenShift um, it's, it's possible so if you, if you want to learn more about Eclipse Chair, here is the GitHub repository for Eclipse Chair, for the file. We have a plugin registry repository where you can uh, find the existing plugin, so contribute to your own plugin. Here is the readme file with the documentation available in the repository. Uh, we have a <coughs> Metromoth channel for all the communications about Eclipse Chair. Uh, mailing list, uh, we have uh, each second mo Monday, we have a community call where you can join and ask the question, propose some changes. Yeah, I think that's it for my short demo about Eclipse Chat. Thank you, maybe, maybe some questions. plans uh, on our PM to, to add more uh, um, Red Hat toolings like pipelines features into Eclipse chair to, 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 to bring it. Uh, also you can, you can try the hosted version of Eclipse chair if you don't want to run it on your machine. It's on chair.openshift.io site. No, it wasn't in uh, OpenShift environment. It was on my within my Eclipse Chair workspace, which is deployed inside OpenShift. Okay. So it's, it's, it, it was done in uh, Sidecar container. Then we can say that whether if your application works in uh, OpenShift Chair, then it definitely works in OpenShift alone as a, stand, as a production of ready uh, container. Right. Yeah. yeah, and and uh, uh, chair, um, chair open sh uh, OpenShift chair plugin. 
uh, has the command for uh, watch for uh, running a watch mode on your front end. It, it takes more time uh, than, than running it inside your chair workspace. Uh, I mean, in, in, in a front end container. It takes more time, but it can be used also to watch the changes uh, on, on, on your editor and immediately ap ap apply it, push it to your OpenShift cluster. Actually, yeah, there are, there are several commands which is, which is useful. I, I won't uh, show all of them, but you can, you can explore. If no more questions, then thank you very much.